Another school year has started, and the head of the public school teachers union says classrooms are still filled with broken furniture. And the future of a pilot program that teachers say helped classroom conditions is up in the air. When we looked into the issue last year, we asked the state what was being done to fix the problem. The Department of Education told us it came down to funding and that it could not throw out furniture every couple of years. We learned of a program that helped teachers with needed supplies. Bridget Namada follows up. Bridget? Well, classroom conditions have been an ongoing struggle, Joe. According to the union, it's a budget issue, so I'm told teachers take matters into their own hands. But recently, I learned the DOE, along with lawmakers, rolled out a pilot program to help make the classroom a better learning environment for students, although the status of that is unclear. Broken desks, broken cabinets, broken ceilings, and floors. These are images teachers statewide have shared with KHON as they begin the new school year. The teachers' union says it's nothing new. Many people that are probably watching are probably the students are using the same exact chairs that were used decades ago. The DOE tries as best they can, but the budget's always limited. Furniture funding depends on each principal who has to take into account all it takes to supply the school. The union tells me its teachers often take matters into their own hands, pulling out their wallets to furnish the classrooms. At the beginning of the school year, one of the biggest challenges for teachers is, number one, to have enough furniture. Many of our teachers, many of them have to buy their own furniture for their classrooms. Teachers want to create an environment that's conducive to learning, and if the state doesn't provide it, they'll provide it in their own pocket. But it's always coming, you know, for very difficult for teachers that sometimes have a hard time just surviving on their own salaries. As a way to help teachers, I learned the DOE handed out preloaded cards with fixed amounts to teachers. The pilot program launched last school year to help teachers purchase school supplies for the classrooms. One Lanai Health and PE teacher received $500. It gives you enough to get the basic, um, the e basic necessities for our classroom. Equipment alone, one equipment, or like say a basketball, it, it can run me from twenty to thirty to forty dollars per. So that five hundred um, will will take care of a little bit of my needs, but not not everything. A Kauai English teacher received two hundred dollars, which was helpful. You know, every year I've been a teacher, I bought things. Um, and, it, you know, I don't mind doing that. Uh, it's, it's, it can, can be difficult financially here. So it's not easy. But the status of the teacher P cards are up in the air. I have no idea. I, asked, I did ask the principal, you know, and hasn't heard a word. The DOE tells me it is looking into the status of the teacher P card program. We'll let you know what we find out. Bridget Namata, KHON2 News.